What's going on YouTube? Dave's Midlife Card Crisis here. Got a uh, package in from uh, Mellow Memorabilia. Uh, won a contest of his. Sent me some really awesome stuff. And I wanted to show y'all what he sent. Um, plus I got a couple pickups here. A um, couple graded cards. Uh, and a couple other rookies. And a, another couple other PC stuff. So let me uh, get to that. Uh, first the... Uh, Contest win from Mello um, sent me this awesome uh, autograph of Alfonso Soriano. Very cool. Um, don't have any kind of autograph from him at all. Uh, cards or just stuff. So that should be sweet. I'm going to stick it right here at my Yankee stuff. Um, should, be so good. should be going on this, this shelf right here. So that is awesome. And then he also sent me... Um, this really sick uh, hockey card. I don't really do hockey, but it's Dallas Stars, um, right by my hometown. Just sick. For a, it's a dual p two patches, um, auto. Just a filthy looking card. That's very cool. And he sent me another auto. What did I do with it? Let's see here. Well, I'll find it here in a minute. Let me, uh... It's a Mike Alt. Uh, rookie Auto. I just had it. Oh, here it is. Right underneath this other card. This is at a finest. That's pretty sweet. For the Texas Rangers. Uh, I believe he pays, plays for the Cubs now. Um... And uh, that's actually going to go to a Cubs fan, if I'm correct on that. Um, guy on here on YouTube. So, Mel, I appreciate that. Very cool. Um, if I left something out, I'm sorry. I got, kind of got all this stuff mixed up with some other stuff. So, I believe that's uh, the three you sent. Um, like I said, if there's something else I just, I'm just missing, then my apologies. Um, but for some... Uh, this is something cool. I, didn't show, I meant to show this in a couple of videos ago when I did some football, but I was at a event for the uh, for work over at the Gaylord Texan Big Hotel. Um, they do a big uh, radio show there for the before Monday Night Football, and I got this mini helmet signed by uh, Anthony Hickson and Justin Durant for the Dallas Cowboys. So that was pretty cool. Um, I meant to show that a while ago. I just keep forgetting. Um, real quick, another football. Got into a break. Um, got the picked the New York Jets. Just a picked the team on eBay, but uh, got a bunch of the uh, base, a couple of refractors in there. But the main ones for me personally. Um, there we got this uh, Taj Boyd, eighty-five. And then I got another die cut of Taj Boyd. I know he don't play for the Jets anymore, but he's in a lot of products. So but those are pretty cool cards. Um, Geno Smith. I did pick up a refractor of him, but then I got this uh, green bordered for the Geno. Uh, for the rookies, I got a uh, several. This is my new PC guy, Jay Samaro. There's one refractor in here, and then a bunch of base. Then I got the 85, Jay Samaro, and the tall boy. Also got a, another PC guy I'm going to try to do this year. Hope he turns out good. I think he's already got been benched, but Calvin Pryor. Got a bunch of base. Four base, and then I got a just a pulsar. Let's see if I get the. There you go. That's a pretty sick card. Kind of like that. And I guess the best hit beside the pulsar would be at a four ninety nine. Uh, Mohammed Wilkerson camo. 
So that's cool. Um, I do have another brake coming in sometime soon. Uh, one second. This is just kind of kind of ridiculous. Um, bought a, a lot of two hundred and thirty five Juan Gonzalez upper deck rookies for like six bucks shipped. So if anybody's out there needs a Juan Gonzalez rookie. I'm actually going to try to flip these and try to make like 50 cents for each of them. So if you want these, they're 50 cents plus shipping. I'm thinking a dollar ten with a PWE and like two bucks in a bubble mailer. So if anybody's out there is in dire need of a Juan Gonzalez upper deck rookie, let me know. Um, also willing to trade for some other rookie base of a. Some players about to go through a list of 90s guys I need. Um, but speaking of rookies, a couple of the pickups for the 80s rookie PC. Lenny Dykstra at a Fleer, 86. Benito Santiago, 86. And then a, this, is a 19, this is a 1999 uh, Josh Hamilton rookie. Got that for a buck. Beckett has it at $15. So, Beckett's usually not correct on that, but... Oh, well. Um, this is pretty cool. Got this for like two bucks. Um, with a little Gaylord Perry lot. A 1963 Rookie Stars. Now... For two bucks, I went ahead and bought it because I knew it's not in great shape. There's some dirt right here or something scratching or something. See if you get a little closer view. Not very good, but uh, I was looking at it. The, the edges are super sharp, and the corners are actually not too bad, but it's a little smaller than a normal card from that era so I'm thinking it got shaved down I mean the surface is screwed it has a whole bunch of gooey stuff on there so I think it's a uh, it was shaved but still pretty cool two bucks Gaylord Perry Hall of Famer um, here's a PC card not non rookie but uh, at a tier one at a 399 Dwight Gooden Jersey I do got the dual jersey coming in, um, and I also showed I showed that last video or two videos ago. I got the dual bat of this coming in also. So then I'm gonna try to get the, the triple relic next. Um, last two cards, recent to the Hall of Fame, new to my PC rookies, 1990. Update, flare update, Frank Thomas, pretty sweet, and for the Yankee PC, for rookie PC, little BGS9 of the captain, Derek Jeter, 93 upper deck, and a pretty sick, so now I got Two of the Jeta rookies, and I should be working on the rest of those here within the next couple months, and eventually, by hopefully by the end of next year, the uh, the uh, Stadium Club Murphy, and then the uh, the SB. Um, just got to get some money saved up for those two. So that's all I got for today. Thanks again, Bella Memorabilia. Um, go give him a sub. Um, has some really awesome stuff, not just cards, but uh, just autographed memorabilia, jerseys, uh, bats, stuff like that. So, pretty cool. Um, and once again, if anybody needs a Juan Gonzalez Upper Deck Rookie, I have a couple. And until then, y'all have a good day.